What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys there's a new event going on at the moment the path of vengeance and there's some stuff that we need in here so if we scroll down to the bottom there's two legendary books up for grabs and that is my main focus Plarium are making it so hard to get legendary books right now and i need these i need them so bad so that's gonna be what i'm going for first the split souls for artak they're nice but they're not essential that's just something as a bonus that i'm happy to get but yeah, it's definitely all about the Lego books. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about this event. I feel like it's very, very expensive. I've already pumped a ton of resources into this. Uh, I've spent about 20 mil upgrading artifacts. I've done quite a few dungeon runs as well. I've only got 20k points at the moment. So the Soul Stones are definitely going to help me reach um, that legendary book. But I personally feel like this is just a whale fest. As free to play, it's going to be very difficult to get that um, that fifth Blitz Soul. So I'm not going to try too hard. I'm going to save my resources. But what do you guys think? You know, am I on the mark or am I completely off the rails? I don't know. You guys let me know. And just before we do start uh, pulling soul stones, I just want to talk about my account and the champions that I really want to fully awaken, fully max out. And first on the list has to be Lorez. I love this guy. He is so fun for arena and especially live arena. He's an absolute beast. So I'd love to have him fully awaken and just see sort of the damage that he can do. Uh, Rotos as well. So mine may not be the strongest. I mean, he's a stat hungry monster, but I'd love to have him fully awakened as well. He's just such a demon. You know, he'll just smash people in arena. It is fun watching him pop off one by one. Um, Pytheon would be great as well. Um, currently I'm using for Hydra, but I could always switch him out and bring him into live arena if I had him fully awakened. Uko, just one of the best control champions for um, live arena. I would love to have him uh, fully awakened as well. And where is he? G nuts, uh, D nuts. This guy is just amazing. Like I love him for PVE and I would like to have him fully awakened just to see how much damage he could really pump out. But yeah, left nut, right nut, G nut. He is one of my favorite champions, whatever you want to call him. So. Last on the list um, is Godseeker. I really need to awaken her. Um, she needs to have a Miracle Hill. This will help me progress in Sand Devil. So I'm sort of stuck um, on stage 19. If I get Miracle Hill on her, I can definitely get to 24 and 25 and start farming a lot more easily. Um, but yeah, just need to get that Miracle Hill. So hopefully today, that's what I'm going to get. Um, if you guys let me know in the comments who you're after, and what champions you'd love to awaken on your account, please don't really know, because I would love to know. So we've got 49 Mortal, and we've got six Immortal. So I think that's about 10,000 points in total, maybe a little bit more than that. But let's see what we get, and I'll just quickly show you. That is my wish list, and as you can see, pretty much what I said is what I'm after. But yeah, let's, let's try and get something juicy, boys. So, first 10 in. Okay, nothing but trash. Not pleased. Okay, we've got a legendary, and it's Tormund, someone I don't have on my account, and he is actually a champion I'd love to have. Um, I bet you could do some, like, he's got a really interesting kit, and you could probably do some really tasty stuff with him, especially in Live Arena. And again, another legendary, Glacia. So I do have and another one, and another one. Jetney, I don't have. I think she was a fusion, and I did skip her. But uh, Gillish, um... I do have her on my account. She's a champion that I don't use. She's quite unique. And um, she's sort of, she's not a counter to cooldown champions like Warlock and Yumiko. Um, basically, she has like a chance to sort of avoid or block the cooldown. But it's not good enough. So there's not really much point in investing in her. It is a shame. And another legendary. And it's Astralon. Okay, so this is my first um, uh, soul soul for him and astralon uh, he's a great he was one of my favorite fusions like he just smacks super hard and yeah he's a great champion shame's only one though so it's not going to do too much for our account um let's just buy one more immortal stone soul stone so soul merchant nope missed it market that's how long it's been let's just buy the one and see how we get on and we're going to pull another 10. Okay, so not the strongest start, to be honest. Let's move over to the Immortal Soul Stones. Hopefully, this is where we're really going to get some really juicy for the account. 
Okay, it's a rare. Okay, epic. Oh, Bur <laughs> Buragiri. He's all right. Um, nothing too special. I think you can solo bomble, but it's really hard to get it to work. Ah, oh, just more trash. <laughs> Hound spawn, awful. Oh my god, guys! Like literally getting nothing today. Axe man, awful man. And last but not least, another rare. Aethel. Okay. So it's not good. I'm probably going to sell most of these. Let me just have a think. I might just buy some more soul stones through the Mystic Market. But let me just have a little think about that. Okay, so that was so bad and painful. I bought 84 more. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Trash. Oh, and we're full. All right, let me just make some space. All right, here we go again. And we've got a legendary <laughs> Gorak, someone I don't have, but is just a trash meister. Man, this is like just awful. Like the luck is just so bad right now. Come on. Defiled Sinner, never. Oh, here we go. Lord Chazar, another champion I don't have. Um, he is pretty good though. Definitely worth using. And we've got Godseeker. Yes, that is exactly what we are after. That is really going to help me in Sand Devil. Um, Hope, I think she's average, but five stars, that's pretty nice. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I'll probably just sell that. Defiled Sinner, though, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with that champion, but I think he could... No, I don't know. I think he's got an interesting kit and he can maybe do some stuff. So five stars on him could actually be worthy of doing something. I don't know. If you guys use him, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know if anyone uses him. Okay, again, just awful pulls. Awful. Oh, my God. So we got Arundroth, six stars. Uh, I've never seen this guy used. I will probably just sell this, but if anyone's using him for anything, if you can let me know. But I do think he's just another trash meister. Belongs in the bin. Another legendary, Sigmund. Okay, so I've only got one Sigmund on my account. And for some reason, Polarium thinks... Like, I think I've already got like a three-star for him, but they keep sending me Sigmund souls all the time. I've got enough. I don't need any more for him. Oh, man. So that's been pretty awful, to be honest. Um, we've Apart from Godseeker, which was amazing, we got one amazing pull. The rest, like that was 100... I think like 120 like small soul stones and then seven immortal and we just pulled trash today uh really sucks um i hope you guys have better luck than me whoa sorry guys i just realized well so we pulled all of those soul stones and it gave us another twenty one thousand points um let's just see what we can get with that so i'm gonna start with the left hand side and then work our way to the right hand side see how far we get okay so with half of those points we managed to get one legendary book and now we're going to sort of work our way across to the other side okay so we've got stuck to this chicken so we need about another almost like seventeen thousand points um to get this large legendary book so that's all we need to focus for um you know i'm not interested in running down anywhere else here i mean if i had to choose i'd probably take I'd actually take the ancient, uh, ancient shards over the oil. Oh no, 60 oil. Okay, no, I would definitely take the oil over the ancient shards, but that would just be bonus for me. Everything else, I'm not that interested in. But anyway, thank you so much for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know how you guys have got on and please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you remember to smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.